Hello Cancer, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your messages from Spirit Reading for February 2021 for the sign of Cancer. So I'm going to pull a few Oracle cards and then we'll pull three Tarot cards. So remember it won't resonate with everybody and it, like I said, um, it is just a message from Spirit. They are messages. So what do we have for Cancer please, Angels, Spirits, Guides? message for our lovely cancerians thank you okay so let's pull your card raise your vibration that can be healing energy our internal energy when it's low is when negativity is consuming us so there's something about raising your vibration here or something may raise your vibration this month What do we have, please, for Cancer? Thank you. We have relationships. Relationships are just mirror images of your own life. How you feel and treat yourself as well as how you react and respond to different situations and people around you. Be aware that every relationship is an opportunity for soul growth. And there's something about raising your vibration with regard to a relationship. Now, that could be in whatever aspect here. So let's pull some more cards. What do we have for Cancer, please? Message for Cancer. Thank you. Okay. So I have number 18, ground your light. Let your soul shine. This is about listening to your intuition because you're being guided and acting on your intuition, the grounding energy is practical energy, um, patient energy, you know, uh, finding your center, finding your core foundation, that kind of thing. Surrounding yourself by people who bring you stability, you know, especially to achieve this. Message for Cancer, please. Angel Spirits Guides message for our lovely cancerians thank you sorry there's some paper on the table message for cancer please thank you oh my goodness look we have dear trust in the support of the universe archangels michael and faith now you know power angelic assistance you're being watched over trust ground your light trust in the support of the universe here okay so i'm going to pull three cards first card is the message from spirit second card is what this message pertains to and then the final card is any action or final words of advice from spirit. So what do we have for Cancer, please? Angels, spirits, guides. Message for Cancer. What is the message for Cancer, please? February 2021, thank you. Thank you. Two of Wands. King of Wands. Six of Swords, very nice Cancer. Bottom of the deck, I have the Ace of Wands. Yeah. I feel this month so you'll be making up your mind in terms of a decision, a path to take. It can be between two opportunities as well, or two areas of your life. So it could be in terms of relationships here or something that affects your relationship. 
So two of wands, Cancer, very empowering energy. I mean, we don't talk enough about how empowering the two of wands is. It's Mars and Aries, a pretty formidable combination, a powerful combination. So somebody who stands in their own power, who is ready to make choices, take action um, towards the path they choose. They choose generally one path and not another. So this is about some kind of choice or a decision. Uh, that you, if you're ready to make now, and it can be a choice about your future. It can be between two areas, opportunities, like I said, it is a general reading, but for some of you, there is some kind of choice, crossroads energy that you need to make now. And there's definitely an energy, it could be to do with a relationship or something that is affecting a relationship. So interesting energy there. The King of Wands is somebody who holds <laughs> this, the wand. So what does it, because it might well be that this King of Wands, I mean, it can be in terms of relationships, but remember the King of Wands, it's funny that this specific King has come out because he holds the wand. So again, I have the Two of Wands, Two Paths, and then I have the wand that's offered to you here. So it could well be some kind of opportunity or a choice with a person or somebody of influence in your life, uh, which is presenting some kind of choice to you. You know, uh, it feels quite powerful. I mean, the King of Wands is a go-getting energy, take the lead, um, take action, you know, can be about visionary energies as well so how making decisions about your future you know it can well be to do with something that you've been thinking about and how you move forward in terms of your future here and making some poignant decision or choice but it, it feels very empowering either way so like i said this can definitely be a person remember the king of wands can offer opportunity as well can be a person of influence like i said can be in relationships as well uh, but it definitely feels for some of you that they are, they are instrumental in bringing some kind of choice in your life. So, yeah, interesting energy. Because the, the Six of Swords is a card of healing, so it can be about raising your vibration. Um, so if this has been to do with relationships, I mean, this can be a detaching energy. This can be about putting troubled waters behind you and moving forward to better times ahead. Um can be about travel, relocation as well for some of you. So, and it feels like it's presented by this Ace of Wands. And the Ace of Wands is the new beginning. Um, can be to do with opportunities as well. So it definitely feels for some of you exciting opportunities. Now, that can be to do with a person. Because, you know, we do have the person holding this here or somebody offering you the opportunity. But it's definitely something exciting, something that promises growth, can be about chemistry and attraction as well for some of you. Uh, very good in terms of business and career as well. Um, but there's such potential with this Ace of Wands. It connects to your passions, your desires in whatever area of your life. And if you keep on taking action to it, it's a card of success, real success, real potential. This, this new beginning, this door has such potential. So it feels like you have some decision to make, but I like the, the key there, you hold the key. It feels you already know which way you wanna go here, you know? And it feels like you're being guided. I mean, there's definitely intuitive energies here. You're being guided in how you take action now, in how you do raise your vibration, how you allow yourself to bring change to your circumstances. This is the card of change. Um, and it's a change for the better uh, in whatever life aspect, like I said. But it definitely feels for some of you that there is some kind of exciting new beginning coming your way. You know, the, the Six of Swords is you're heading in the right direction. 
Um, you might make a decision and allow yourself to put troubles behind you and move towards this Ace of Wands, which is the new beginning. You're not quite there yet, but it feels like it's the process. You're in the process, the transition, and it's a positive transition for the better. That is healing, that is raising your vibration and allowing yourself to move forward to new beginnings. So it feels very, very beautiful. I'm going to pull a final card. Final message for Cancer, please. Final message for Cancer. So I've got a couple of cards here. Yeah, oh no, it's one card. <laughs> um, we have go out and plant new life seeds. So for your future, yes. And it's number 23. And you know, this is the seed card. This is the seed card. And it feels for some of you, you're making some choices. There's some kind of transitional energy here for the better that is leading towards an exciting new beginning here. So very, very, very nice energy indeed. I hope you enjoyed the reading, Cancer. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful month for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.